Okay, hello. Welcome to another video example of magnetic fields. Uh, this is a question from Winter 10, paper 4 1. And uh, looks like a good old mass spectrometer. So let's go. We have positive ions traveling through a vacuum in a narrow beam. Ions enter a region of uniform magnetic field of flux density B and are deflected in a semi-circular arc, as shown in figure 5.1. Okay, so we all know how and why this happens, so I will not go into it, I will jump ahead. The ions travelling at this speed are detected at a fixed detector where the diameter of the arc of the magnetic field is 12.8 cm. So in this kind of uh, setup of mass spectrometer, right, the diameter, the detector can move, and depending on the distance of the detector, from the velocity selector chamber, you can actually measure the value of the diameter of deflection. All right, by reference to figure 5.1, state the direction of the magnetic field. So time to take out our left hand button. There you go. I'm gonna... Okay, after pressing my friend the calculator, this value is 0 0.4539, which is close to 0 0.454 Tesla. Okay, keyboard confusion. All right, so if you're wondering where the mark is, uh, one mark is the sentence, magnetic force provides centripetal force. This is one mark. Okay, and the other mark is when you one mark here magnetic centripetal force okay the other mark is when we have this equation as mentioned just now and the final mark is the substitution mark so you substitute all the correct values and convert whatever that needs to be converted to si units so this proof is three mark fairly standard and very similar to summer 18. okay moving on Ooh, some sketchy sketchy things happening Alone ions, sorry, ions of mass 22U with the same charge and speed as those in B are also present in the beam. Okay, so now this is heavy mass. Sketch the part of these ions in the magnetic field of magnetic flux density 0 0.545. So we have the same charge, we have the same speed. Okay, the only difference here is now our mass is heavier. Okay, and part two, in order to detect this ion at the fixed detector, the magnetic flux density is changed. Calculate this new magnetic flux density. Okay, one by one. Uh, we do part one first. We want to sketch the part of these ions. Meaning to say now, I have ion with a heavier mass. Do you think that the diameter or the radius will increase or decrease? Okay, so if you look at the equation here, da, da, da. Ah. so I'm going to steal the equation here, okay? You can see that if, let's say, all the things are constant, B, uh, same magnetic field, V, same uh, velocity, Q, same charge, constant, I'm going to draw a box here. It's not part of B. Eh? If B, V, Q is constant, then I can say R is proportional to M. Okay? Because I can rearrange the equation. What? The equation, this equation, can be rearranged to R is equal to MV over QB. So if all our friends is constant, this is constant, 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 you get R is proportional to M. Meaning to say now, if my mass is bigger, my radius will increase. Or logic dictates that it should turn at a larger radius. Okay, so when you draw this, please be careful. Make sure that what you draw, uh, you don't draw like that. La. I've seen this many times. What is this? Just because here to here increase, why suddenly increase? Is this even still a circle? What is this even? So if that's what you're thinking of drawing, don't do it. That's not the right way to do it. Okay? So we should draw a circle where the second circular part and the first circular part has an increasing distance. 
if let's say you are very lost, right, just bring a compass and draw. Lah. Okay, so I just need a gradually larger and larger radius. Something like this. So the gap between here to here will be bigger. And I'm just going to draw some arrows. Okay, so um, yeah. Build a compass. <laughs> Put the center of the compass here. Increase the radius and then start drawing. Starting from here. So the center of the compass will have to shift upwards. Alright. So if you bring a compass to draw this, you start from here. You move higher a bit. Lo. And then now this to here is your new radius. So if this is your new center, then your curve would be this way. This will make more sense. Okay. So hopefully you get the idea. In the exam, if you need to draw a good circular part and you are not very good at this, just bring the compass. Okay. So you can see the distance between this black line and this purple line is increasing. Here it's very close, further and further away. Okay, don't turn halfway, they only suddenly increase. What is happening? Okay, so if it turns up with a correct circular part, you get one mark. Comparing to the May June 18, the marks here are harder to get because it's an older question. Okay, so now you are asked to calculate the new magnetic flux density if, let's say, uh, the detector cannot move, it's spoiled people. The this one spoil now. I cannot move it here to detect this new part, this 22U. Cannot. I need to uh, keep it in the same place, but I still want to measure the 22U. So what I need to do is to change the magnetic field. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the same equation that we have derived here. Nu, okay, R is MV over QB, or B is MV over QR, this one. Okay, I use this one now. B is equal to MV over QR. Ding. B is MV over QR. Okay. So if you want to put the fix, detect the ion at the fixed detector, this one means that it has the same radius, which is 12.8 uh, divided by 2. Okay. Um, so R is constant. This ion have the same charge Q is constant. Entering at the same speed V is constant. I write here, V, Q, R, constant. So hence, B is proportional to mass. So ratio is my best friend. Old magnetic field over new magnetic field is ratio of old mass over new mass. Which kind of makes sense if I want to keep the radius the same. If I am dragging something that is has more mass, I will need a larger force. Hence, I will need a larger field. That's why it's directly proportional. Quite logic one. Okay, anyway, if you want to, you can use equations like this to confirm. Determine your constant, B is proportional to M. The old value of B was 0 0.453 divided by, and the old value of U is 20U. Okay, the new value of B we want to find, the new value of M is 22U. The benefit of doing ratio is that you don't have to convert the U, they cancel out. If you decide to use this equation and plug the value in, because some of you might be thinking, actually, miss, why can't I put 22U in M? I put back the value of V given in this question, which is this one. This is V. And then I put back the value of Q, which is also given in this question. This is Q. And then I put back the same value of R, which is 12.8 divided by 2. Now I can find B. Okay, law. that means you repeat this calculation again. Changing this 20 to 22. Also can. But you know me. If you've watched enough of my videos with, or our videos, I, we tend to favor ratio because, come on, man, let's not kid ourselves. This one, I no need to pause the video and then press wrong hotkey and then get confused because I'm still a boomer. Okay? I can just press directly live and be able to find the value of this new magnetic flux density B2 now, being 0 0.498 Tesla, okay? If you, is it 454? Sorry, did I copy wrongly? Ding, ding. Ah, yes, 454, my bad. Let me adjust this. 
four, five, four. So this one would be four, nine, nine. Yes, 0 0.4994. Okay, so 0 0.499 Tesla. Uh, the reason why I kept this as 3SF, although sometimes 2 is also acceptable, is because the other value of magnetic flux density that they use is also 3SF. So I'm going to just highlight this one for you. I guess in a different color. So this is this value of B is 3SF. Ergo, hence, this value of B, I also keep to 3SF. Alright. Miss, will I lose mark? Ah? Probably not, but let's not take the risk. Try to follow the lead of the question. Okay? Uh, but 2 to 3 is normally good enough. Okay, so that's it for this particular question. Uh, you can always compare this with May, June 18. In this question, basically the focus here is to understand that uh, the radius of this deflection depends on, number one, the mass, heavier mass will have a larger radius. If I want a heavier mass to have the same radius, then I need a stronger field because I need a stronger magnetic force to pull it tighter. Okay, And we can always use this relationship, but please know how to derive this equation from the concept of magnetic force is providing the necessary centripetal force for this circular part. And please draw your circular part properly so that it looks like a circle. That's all for this short and sweet question. I will see you in the next one. Good luck in your studies. Like, share, subscribe. Help your friends study physics together. Good luck with your A2s.